Hey, Justin from Gold Penguin here, and this is the fifth video in a multi-part series of creating a website in WordPress using Breakdance. Today, we're gonna to be going over how to add a 404 page to your website. If you don't know what a 404 page is, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on Gold Penguin. Uh, if you go to any website and you go to a link that does not work, you will see some kind of message that will say, hey, that's awkward, hey, that's weird, there's nothing here. Uh, I'm sure you've seen it before if you've messed around with some websites. Looks like the page you're looking for is not available. And then a link that will take you back to the home page. So the way we do this with Breakdance is quite simple. Head over to the Breakdance settings, go to templates, and add a new template for a 404 not found page. Edit this in Breakdance. You should see your header and footer here. Uh, that's actually weird that we don't, but <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter because we need to design the page. So add a section to the page. I'm going to keep this structure pane open. And then inside of here, we are going to add a heading. We are going to add some text, and then we are going to add a button. So you could do this however you want. The hardest part was really just figuring out the template um, was there. So I'm gonna first start off by taking the, temp the section and centering it, keeping it in the middle of the page, and setting a, if we can find it, setting a size, oh, there it is, to have a height that takes up the viewport, which is taking up the whole page, and then we're going to go back into the layout and vertically align it in the center. So this is going to say, hey, whatever page you're on, this will be front and center. And then we're going to say, oops, page not found. And then you can go ahead and add whatever you want here that says, this page is not available. Please try another. Okay, this page is not available. Please try another. Let's add some padding in between. In the spacing, we can add a margin of, we could go ahead and do to rem how will that look oops it will be on the bottom not the top to rem just like that page not found and then add your message over here and then we can make this say return home change the style of the button to be secondary because i just think this looks better but again this customization is completely up to you you just want to make sure that users have a way of going home going back to the page before so type a slash here to have this return back to the home page and just like that a beautiful 404 page. You can really do whatever you want. Uh, if you want to get a little messy, you can add a background color to take up the section. You can add a background image, a gradient, uh, just like this. Pretty cool, pretty easy to do. Uh, lots of options, but you could just keep it the body of your website. So yeah, um, here's how to add an image. Just go ahead and add it like this, but this is pretty ugly. So <laughs> really, uh, whatever you want to do, you get to decide Oh, that's a bug, but uh, yeah, you get to decide whatever you want to do, page not found, uh, however you want, and then on mobile, this is how it's going to look too. So now when you save your page, go to WordPress and type in any random URL at the end of it, you're going to have page not found, and you do have your header and you do have your footer, it just doesn't show up in the editor, but it is right here. That's a quick video. In the next video, we are going to be going over custom post types, which is super awesome for a variety of websites. Custom post types allow you to create kind of objects on the site. So uh, uh, WordPress has the capabilities of doing things like pages and posts, which pages are for pages, posts are for your blogs. We're gonna be doing something with a uh, real estate website where we're gonna be adding house listings. And so we're gonna use a plugin and do a few things to get that working. But this is great if you're trying to develop a website that has custom content and custom items that are not necessarily products. It's gonna be things like, hey, here are some houses that uh, listings that we have displayed or here are some uh, nutrition facts for a specific type of food, but like things that you're not really gonna be buying because it's just gonna be a, we're basically adding an item. So instead of making a page, we're gonna, go, we're gonna create a home, and then that home is gonna be viewable on an individual page. So we're gonna go ahead and do that in the next video, but thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.